Welcome to our next episode of our South American adventure. Um, we camped last night next to the river just north of Buena Aires and it's the first time that we are actually camping since our return from Cape Town. Have a look what we are up to. So starts another episode of our South American adventure. Thank you very much for our patrons for making these videos possible. It's your support that assists us in making better videos. If you would like to support us, please go to patreon.com forward slash feel us on four wheels and subscribe today. My fight with our tap continues. Day two, my handiwork is again disappointing me. And as I broke the brand new tap, it always was broken when we bought it. So um, this time we've decided to come and park by the hardware store and do the work here in case I need parts. So I uh, wish me luck. Um, I bought a new tap. I'm going to try it again. And let's see, maybe I won the fight this time. So the tap is in, we've mounted it, didn't have a lot of space, clamps on, I'm going to give the silicone about half an hour and then I'm going to try it and see if I won the fight. A lot of things happening here in the easy hardware store parking lot. Luckily the Argentinian is quite easy about stuff like this. Yes, easy it easy. Um, and they um, seem to be able to not mind that um, I've packed off my van out here. And then I'm doing the work here. Okay, the moment of truth. Quite a big bowl there to catch the water. It's not a lack of confidence in my handiwork. I've got a big, I've got a big lack of confidence in my handiwork, but let's see. I've opened the tap. I'm going to throw the switch now for the water pump and let's see if there's a flood of water or if it works. Maybe I've won the wall with the tap. Yeah. One for Louis today. <laughs> Fan fucking tastic. Now Karin must just finish the shopping and um, we can hit the road again. Heading north. It was getting very late as we left the outskirts of Buenos Aires. day of shopping, fixing a tap, changing money, it's getting late, but uh, yeah, luckily we were not too far from a uh, campsite, it was, it got good reviews, so we're going to look at um, Las Tejas camping, I let's see, yeah, we need a breather, all the action from, from Google Translate and we've heard this is really nice so yeah we just want to make it before dark I'm following an old guy in a little scooter motorbike um, to the campsite it's an enormous property 
so you, can, you might be able to just see in the end of this thing. And yeah, thank God that he's coming with us. We never would have found it. Uh, maybe over there, I'm not sure if it's better. But if they die, come to hunt. Come to me. After two days of camping by the river, we headed further north on the main highway of Uruguay on the right hand side over the Uruguay River and a fascinating part of Argentina ahead of us. We crossed a lot of big rivers and the amount of greenery and water was in stark contrast of the previous parts of Argentina that we experienced. It's a really, it's a, it's a dreary, rainy day outside. So we thought it would be a good opportunity to um, come and steam up in a hot spring. So we at Termas de Guauchu, near the town of Gau or Gau or La Guachu. Not sure of my pronunciation, but yeah, ideal today for a soak. And we needed a clean shower because we haven't had a proper shower in a few days. Um, very nice hot springs. Um, some um, inside bath and outside bath. It's a bit noisy in here. Uh, quite an echo from the high roof. Um, Corinne went for a nice jog and now we are going to have a bite to eat and then get back into the water. I'm a bit nervous about getting out because it's nice and warm in here and it's quite cold outside. Morning from the side of the road. The first for us, sleeping at a petrol station. Something that seems to be quite common in overlanders in South America, but something we're not used to. So we had to give it a bash to see what it's like. Corinne didn't sleep too well because of the noise of the I traffic. really, I really love the hum of the vehicles, passing every few seconds. But yeah, I slept like a baby, like always, like a rock. Yeah. Um, so will you do it again, Annie? If I must. Um, I'd rather prefer wild camping. Um, of course, it's not so noisy, but here yeah, you've got toilets and it's a bit, I don't know if it's safe or not, but, but I would rather, yeah, it must be quiet on a quiet road. Yeah, I thought it was pretty safe. It was also very cold, so the, the yeah. you, you were moving a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. That's the way we go. We try something new, we see if we do it, we'll do it again. In our next episode, we start getting to know the wildlife of South America as we visit a few national and provincial parks in Argentina. We start with Park Nacional El Palmar, recognized for the thousands of indigenous palm trees growing all over the park. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our patrons for making these videos possible.